Hey guys, so I was called out by Not A Vodka Shot to do a dramatic reading of the crucifix, crucifix nipple, or nail nipples. So, alright, we're already off to a great start, so let's begin. The MC is a girl named Sue. Sue is a good girl, TM. Sue is not like other girls, TM. She is pale and awkward, a virgin, and has somehow managed to find herself a bad boy, TM, for a, bo for a boyfriend. We'll call him Dickhead. Now, Dickhead, as previously stated, is a bit of a dick. He tries to pressure Sue into sex because he knows she is the one, TM. But he loves her really, so it's okay. Except that it's not okay because Sue is a good girl, TM. And holding out till marriage, which He's fine with, except he's got such a bad case of blue balls that one night, walking home, an attractive stranger lures him into an alleyway with the words, Hey stud, and he follows Dick out before she's even finished her sentence. Well, turns out that was a mistake for Dickhead because she's a vampire. And not just any vampire, a dick-biting vampire. And so what started out as a skeevy blowjob behind a club that he'll feel bad about in the morning turns out turns him into being bitten on the dick and drained of his life essence and left for dead. Except DBV fucked up and now he's a vampire. Are you still with me? Good, because it's about to get weirder. Realizing he is now an abomination, Dickhead flees, becoming a creature of the night and feeding on animals rather than humans to repent for such an asshole in life. Sue, meanwhile, she's heartbroken, but carries on valiantly with her life and goes to bed each night crying for the loss of her one true love, Tim. Oofoo she would do anything to bring back. Well, guess what, Sue? Dickhead never really left you. He's been instinctively protecting her from rapists by hiding out on her roof and fighting hobos who try to get to her open window via the fire escape for months now. Because, you know, that's not fucking terrifying or anything. Upon learning of his predicament and how it happened, Sue can do nothing but blame herself. If only she let him touch her secret places, then perhaps all of this could have been avoided. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dickhead is having another dilemma of his own, realizing too late that his vampire powers have given him super senses and now he can smell her blood, and he can't decide whether he wants to get with her or eat her, and not in the French sense. But he's strong, and overcomes his base manly vampire instincts, neither rapes not ki nor kills her. Hurrah! Except... This is romantic, and this is so romantic that Sue gives it up, but not before he la she launches into a theory about how in all fairy tales, true love saves the day. So maybe her magical, pure vagina that has never been touched by anyone, not even her, can bring him back to life. So Dickhead, being a dickhead, agrees and rips off her clothes, but not before he takes one last moment to marvel at the beauty of her purity, because he will never again look on her and know that she is pure. Seriously? If you vomit her only once, I applaud your resolve. So they hop onto the good foot and do the nasty, except she's literally so pure in spirit, her flesh burns his. And to quote, her breasts bit into his hands like crucifix nail nipples tearing at his flesh, and but he did not care because he loved her so and could not stop. Oh, my dick is really soft right now. Okay, keep going. When the magical burning sex fails to heal him and leaves his br her bruised, battered, and broken with a dainty blue bells of bruises around her secret flower, what the fuck? Dickhead leaves. Yeah, off he fucks, leaving her to the mercy of the hobos at her window and into the night to be the true monster he really is. But wait, there's more! Remember the dick-biting vampire? Well, turns out she has figured out she has made him into a vampire and has also been stalking him, totally jealous of Sue. So, you know, tries to kill her. But again, Sue's purity saves her because sex before marriage, which is done out of true love, is not a sin. So she will still be a spiritual virgin. And, I mean, if you haven't had six drinks yet, good on you. I'm on to my fifth. A fight ensues some pages later after Dickhead has returned, realizing the mistake he has made, and he rescues Sue from the dick biter, but not before he assaults the dick biter and calls her a slut for luring an innocent luring innocent men into alleyways and cuts a, cuts her heart out by ripping her breasts off. I what? 
how what okay well there you have it and that is my dramatic retelling of crucifix nail nipples have a good night